Welcome back to another episode of One Punch Man, and it is also the final episode of Season 2. Hopefully you will enjoy it and give it the send-off that it uh, kind of deserves. But where are we going to be left? Is the Monster Association still going to be running amok? Is Garo going to achieve his goals of taking down the Hero Association? Is Saitama going to finally get a single win against King? Let's find out. To be fair, in his current state, did we did any of us expect Garo to be able to withstand his old master? Poor Garrow. <laughs> Mainly because... Are you going for the underhanded throw dirt in their eye tactic? Because you have made a name for yourself. Is he using Watchdog Man's moves there? Well, that's not fair. It's not a one on one fight. <laughs> Garo, Garo is there among the Remnants of monsters. I wonder if uh, Genos has actually learned anything since being a disciple of Saitama. How would the Monster King react if Garou just completely destroyed the Monster Association? To be fair, to be fair, his ideals, while it started off just being kind of dumb. They came from a place of not entire incredulence. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a difficult task. That would be why he's fighting rather fiercely then. I get it. And this is why he had that why doesn't the monster ever win mentality. The actions and memories of the past can really affect you. Who is this Tats anyway? It's the monster's duty to be uh, mad and angry, is it not? It's just only playing along. <laughs> it's 
So because it was all unfair, Well, yeah, but that, does that also extrapolate out onto actual monsters? Hmm. Is he not allowed to? Of course not. Yeah, you can really understand where his hatred of heroes stemmed from. Or was it just the hatred of his classmate? Is this Tetsu just a faceless entity of the past, or is it an actual character that we know of? And of course, the uh, the past is deemed to repeat itself, and now he's being outnumbered, and it's not a fair fight. Go to hell. <laughs> and there it is. Other monsters that actually actually became monsters had much less of a motivation for doing so. Oh, I ate a lot of crab. He's losing control. Ow. To be fair, he is now escaping, kind of. Does Bang still hold, uh, I'm not sure what that word would be, some respect and feelings for Gary for everything that they've been through, and therefore doesn't want him to be blown into smithereens. It didn't go down after Metal Bat. Nice. Not sure how your ankles managed that, but okay. Who's going to actually be the one to take down? The big centipede. Is Gary going to accept just talking plainly to this monster? Well, you can see the difference in their principles there. He's not doing it for the, just the sake of destruction. They're not going to be able to learn anything if they're dead.
I mean, he... I can't think of the word at all. I mean, those heroes that he did take out aren't actual, actually any threat to him right now. And the ones standing, he didn't actually defeat, so... Leaving them alive had nothing on it. They took down one of Metal Knight's... Um, uh, robots. That's being held in the Monster Association halls. We got a very slight silhouette of Bang there. Not Bang Blast. Yeah, can you use your martial arts against something the size of a building? Or several buildings? What about anyone else? Was that just to blind him? It's been a while since we've actually seen some proper fighting. Other than the Genos fighting the heroes, of course. Nice. So it caused some damage to it, but are they going to be able to take it down between them? No, but... To be fair, he can attack from many angles, but they seem very focused. Yep, that looks like extensive damage. It shed its uh, exoskeleton. I see. That was some fast regeneration. No wonder the uh, it survived blast then. And what's the plan after that? <laughs> Whose ideals are going to win out here? Of course, Jonas isn't going to let it all go so easily. Did Jonas have, like, a Gatling laser cannon in his arms before? How many additional functions have been added that we haven't actually been privy to seeing yet? Hmm... Half right. Does it have anything to defend up close like that?
I see. Using its own body. Well, Janus has suffered worse. Remember the deep sink, deep sea king. Nice. Having a function which allows him to reconnect severed parts. Surprised that wasn't added earlier, considering the amount of times Genesis has been pulled apart. Ah, uh, Genos and his love of being melted, apparently. Yep, yeah, if you can't do damage to the outside, go for internal injuries. Great. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm guessing it wasn't a final blow. It's not the creepiest face I've seen coming from a monster. <laughs> Yep, you've got some way to go first. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. What's Janos' plan for now? So, Janos isn't strong enough. Is he going to fall foul of those monster cells? Yeah, but you don't always have to face it alone, do you? Is he facing it? <laughs> it's like back at the... King? Why is why has he got a megaphone? And he's breaking it, of course. <laughs> Did he really? Are we actually going to see blast on the? Penultimate minutes. <laughs> yep. He's terrified. And to think that monsters like that can be so easily persuade, persuaded. By tearing into their... Cowardice. Hmm. 
Let's see how the strongest man wins. Or, or see how the strongest man does. Yep. What people think is that for intimidation is for his own... Scared for his own life. <laughs> and like all other times when this music plays and didn't just destroy the exoskeleton, it ruptured the very molecules of its body. <laughs> Is King going to get the accolades for this fight, though? Because other than those ones, it's only King, Bang, and Genos that already know who he is and his power. <laughs> so the only reason that he actually came out to uh, destroy the monster in that place... <laughs> yeah, Saitama is I mm. What is the true strength of Saitama though? What better words to end it on? I'm still slightly saddened that overall this season had less of Saitama in it than uh, I would have liked, but it was trying to build up another character and trying to show off a lot more of the ones that we didn't actually get to see previously. Oh yeah, Sonic, whatever happened to him after he, uh, after his cuisine uh, evening? There was also just a lot less of Saitama being upset that the battles that he did have weren't up to his standard. Has he grown to the point where he's accepted that he's far too powerful for his own good? Maybe he's just resting. Remember, he has been through quite an ordeal recently. Well, he hates failure, so... You see, with Garrow and this... What has transpired in this episode and it trying to humanise him in a way that you, you... You can resonate with the character. Sure. I can understand that he went through some school school things that uh, well sucked quite badly. Doesn't mean that I also can relate to his methods of getting over that and trying to hunt down all of the heroes. It wasn't heroes that caused his issues. It was some arsehole kid. I feel like his anger and hatred have been misplaced slightly. Well, that and the fact that no one would listen to him. I am slightly perturbed that 
that is it. <clears throat> and we're not getting much more in the way of One Punch Man anytime soon. However, there is a whole lot of webcomic and manga and whatnot, so it will keep me sustained for a while. If you've enjoyed the episode, please let me know, liking the video, commenting down below, and subscribe to the channel. Are good things to consider. And as of releasing this video, I should have potentially, due to recent events, released a Patreon. So if you want to help me out even more, you can feel free to. Of course, it is definitely not necessary, and something I was very hesitant about doing in the first place, but needs must and all that. I know a lot of you out there are amazing as is, so you don't really have to change, but if that's what you really want, well, I'm not going to turn it down. Of course, with that being the end of One Punch Man, <sighs> there's not much I can say, but quite a few... There's not much that I can say, but quite a few of you are already heroes in my eyes. Keep up that work. You might want to get some rest, though. And I'll see you in the next one.